Hello, I'm Henrique, a cloud engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to show you how to resolve issues when you use AWS Identity and Access Management, IAM Authentication, to connect to an Amazon Relational Database for Postgres Instance or Aurora Postgres DB Cluster. Let's get started. There are several reasons why you might get an IAM Authentication failure for user error when you use IAM Authentication to try to connect. One reason why you might receive an error is that IAM authentication is turned off. First, let's check if IAM authentication is turned on for your database instance. Open the Amazon RDS console. Select your Postgres instance or Aurora cluster. Click Modify. Under Database Options, check if IAM database authentication is turned on. If it isn't, then turn it on and then choose Continue. Finally, apply the changes immediately. You can also run the Describe DB Cluster AWS command line interface command to check whether IAM authentication is turned on. If the command returns true, then IAM authentication is turned on. If the command returns false, then IAM authentication is turned off. Another reason why you might receive an error is because you have insufficient IAM role permissions. Let's verify that the IAM role has the required permissions to connect. You must allow the RDS DB Connect action on the resource ARN for your database user. Here is an example policy that allows this action. You can use star as wildcard for the DB username and DB resource ID fields. Confirm that the policy includes the correct resource ID. To check the resource ID, open the Amazon RDS console, navigate to Configuration tab, and then check for Resource ID. You can also run the Describe DB Cluster AWS CLI command to get the resource ID. You can also get an IAM authentication error when the database user isn't configured or isn't granted RDS IAM permission. The database user also needs to be granted the RDS IAM role. To resolve this issue, connect to your Postgres instance and run this command to create a user and grant RDS IAM permission to the user. Run this code to check the members of the RDS IAM role. If you are using an incorrect connection string, then you receive an error. When you are connecting, make sure that you use the correct connection string format with the authentication token. Here is the example connection string format. Also, make sure that you are using the correct IAM role to generate the token. Finally, if you use AWS organizations, then you can receive an IAM authentication error when you don't include RDS DB star to the organization service control policy, or SCP. Make sure to add RDS DB star to the SCP. Also, if you use permissions boundaries, then allow RDS DB Connect for your IAM entities. And now you know how to resolve IAM authentication issues when you connect to RDS for Postgres or an Aurora Postgres DB cluster. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.